Since Bethesda was recently brought by Microsoft, there's been a lot of hype around when the Elder Scrolls 6 release date will be. But we still know it's going to be many years away after Starfield's release. But don't worry, because there are many great Skyrim mods to look forward to while we wait. Today, we'll be specifically looking at Skyblivion, a mod that is attempting to remaster the Elder Scrolls Oblivion within the Skyrim game engine. But before we do, I really want to see this Skyrim mod project get a lot of attention, as much as possible. So if you want to take a moment to give the video a like and leave a comment below telling me what you're most excited to see in a recreation of Skyblivion, that will help the YouTube algorithm promote this video. Now this is not just a basic Oblivion remaster, it also includes many cut quests, new quests, locations, weapons, armor, items, 4k textures, a complete landscape overhaul to bring the Elder Scrolls Oblivion into 2020. Not 2011 when Skyrim was released, 2020. In essence, it's going to be a triple A Elder Scrolls experience that's completely free if you own a copy of Skyrim. So together, let's take a look at why you should be excited for Skyblivion, a Skyrim mod that started in 2012. Well, if you never played Oblivion, there were over 219 quests that will all be re-implemented into Skyblivion, including some new ones that will be added in addition as well that the mod creators have made themselves. Luckily, much of the dialogue from the original game can be reused including dialogue that was originally cut from the final game in the first place. Oblivion is located in Cyrodiil, which is 57 kilometers squared, or 22 miles squared, when compared to Skyrim, which is only 36.7 kilometers squared, or 14.5 miles squared. And to be honest, really, most of the mountains in Skyrim were actually inaccessible compared to Cyrodiil, which had vast rolling hills, and you could really go everywhere. So Skyblivion will actually be bigger than Skyrim, in that sense. But the dev team are striving to make the game world feel even more diverse in terms of content around the actual world to find and just more satisfying and real to explore. Each region of Cyrodiil will have its own ecosystem, colour palettes and feel to it. For example, the rolling plains that surround the Imperial City will be tranquil compared to the swamps of Blackreach. That will be creepy, dark and foreboding. We also see some before and after images here that show how the 3D artists have recreated some of the iconic features from Oblivion, like the magical stones that would give you certain temporary powers and buffs upon activation. Now the first thing you'll notice is that compared to Oblivion, there are tons more bushes and trees and foliage and other 3D assets that have been created for the game. The reason for this is really the advancement in technology since Oblivion came out that allows lots more things to be placed in each cell compared to back when Oblivion first came out. Now the first pass of the landscape of Cyrodiil is almost finished, which included the creation of huge mountains that actually look like real mountains longer shorelines that border the coast, denser forests and swamps. One of the most exciting things though from the dev team however was that they wish to reward exploration. So they've actually hidden loads of treasure and things to find all over the map but in a super law friendly way where the devs leave like, like little clues of human habitation to show a story of how it got there, which I really love from Skyrim. And I hope we have lots of that. Now, if you've ever played the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, you will remember the diversity of the cities, many of which are or have been rebuilt from the ground up. And so far from what we've seen, they actually look stunning. You know, for the amount of time I spent on Oblivion, can you believe it only had 26 minutes of exploration music, when compared to Skyrim's 1 hour 28 minutes of exploration music? Many of the soundtracks will remain in Skyblivion that were in Skyrim, however, they've also been working on a lot more soundtracks and I definitely recommend after this video checking those out because they are truly amazing. Pieces of music that just bring you back to the Elder Scrolls universe, but in a new way. Apparently, Oblivion also had 2,663 interior spaces. All of these interiors need to be recreated. Everything from shops in the Imperial City to guilds in the north of Bruma. Just like in Oblivion, 
houses will have different clutter to reflect the owner's status. Now clutter in itself sounds really boring, but the devs explain how important it is to make the world seem alive, like shops need some clutter, obviously goods to sell. All of these items make the world seem more realistic, but obviously they take a long time to make individual items like this. Oblivion actually had over 8,032 3D objects. Everything from potion bottles, spoons will be reimagined. The armor sets the team has worked on so far have also been reimagined and inspired by old school Oblivion armors. And they just look absolutely fantastic. Like, my god, some of them look better than armor sets that were made in Skyrim or the Elder Scrolls Online for sure. They're still unique, but they're also in keeping with the Elder Scrolls lore, which I love. Also, the guards of the different cities of Cyrodiil have unique armor sets that represent where they're from. The robes also look incredible, the textures are very high quality and look better than what we saw in Skyrim for sure. I think some of these armors are actually standalone mods you can download right now. Another huge part of this project has been the enemy creation, specifically the monsters many of which are even more terrifying than I remember. Every creature needed to be recreated from the ground up for Sky Oblivion, which obviously takes a lot of work, but the results you see on screen are turning out really well. And the undead, god, they just look horrifying. Like, the zombies look really real. As I mentioned earlier on, all the textures of the game have been remade from scratch in 4K. So you can now actually read tombstones, you can look at the details on notices and flags and that's just going to add to the immersion when you can actually stop and look at a signpost and read what it says it's not just a blurry oblivion texture you'll be happy to hear though if you were a fan of the ui in oblivion that the teams put a lot of work into that for any skyrim player the ui is going to feel rather familiar but with lots of references of nostalgia to oblivion they've not tried to reinvent the wheel it's just a subtle nod towards the feeling that you're really playing oblivion right now one thing i'm unsure about bringing back though is the underwater combat the team are working on this i myself think this is i'm going to be honest a complete waste of time it always felt wrong and awkward even in oblivion and it rarely came into play I sure as hell did not miss it in Skyrim. But maybe you guys disagree with me in that. Let me know in the comment section. My fiance said she had downloaded a mod where she got to play a mermaid in Oblivion. And that was awesome for her. So maybe you're one of those people. I for one would love to see the magic system return though with spell creation. Apparently this is really hard to actually do but I loved making my own spells, like the more ridiculous, the better. You'll be happy to hear, however, that the coders have been giving NPCs schedules and daily routines. That obviously is gonna make the game feel more alive. You'll actually see people traveling on the road and walking around the cities. Now, if you guys wanna stay up to date with the latest Oblivion news, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification icon, and then YouTube will let you know every time we have a news video on Sky Oblivion. You can also check out the Sky Oblivion YouTube channel as well, and some of the developers even sometimes live stream the game, so you can hop on, see how much work they are really putting into this project, because it's absolutely incredible. So do show them some love, and if you want to support them, maybe you've got some game design skills, do reach out to them, they really need all the help they can get to make this possible. It's a fan-driven project, they're doing it for free, but if you want to get something cool on your CV, this is a great opportunity to do that. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Once again, leave a like, a comment below because I want this video to get as much attention as possible. It's always good when you have gaming outlets writing about these massive mod projects because it helps them get acknowledgement and that really keeps them going. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and goodbye.